let's look at redeclarations. This is one of the more interesting things in Go uh, and, and around shadowing. So let's take a look at this code. I've got that struct type user. I've got this error variable now. If I ever see an error variable not called ERR, normally that's going to stop a code review in its tracks. There are exceptions, but most of the time ERR should be usable throughout the entire scope of the function. Now, let's just take a look at what we're doing here for a second. Get user apparently is returning two values, one being the error value. In fact, if we look at get user, you can see here that it's never failing. So I've written a function here that assumes um, that it's never failing. You also see that we're doing some literal construction. This is interesting here. What this is doing is it's saying construct a value of type user using our literal construction and then take its address and, and, and make a copy of that back out. So these are things you might see in code instead of assigning it to a variable right away. Now, here's something that's interesting here, okay? Um, notice that we've got UERR1. I call get user again. I've got UERR2. And all this code is working. And you, you start to wonder what's going on, Bill. You're using U twice in the scope of a short variable declaration operator. Um, if these variables are already declared, how can you redeclare them? Well, let's make this code maybe a little bit more idiomatic, okay? And let's start here for a second. Let's start here for a second. Let's make this code a little more idiomatic. Okay, so we're going to call get user. We're going to get back our u and our error. Now I can't put the if statement on the same line because I'm going to use this u later on. If I put both in the same if, then both variables are declared locally to the if statement. Now there's a good chance after I do this that I'm going to call another function. In fact, let's do the following for a second, just to make it a little bit more realistic. Um, let's call this type customer. We can have the same exact thing, it doesn't matter. And let's write a get customer function, okay? So, um, Assuming we would probably pass in that user, right? If we wanted to be a little bit more accurate here in terms of code that we probably would want to use. And I'm not going to use the variable, but we would get it. All right. Um, you would see here that a lot of times what will happen is sorry. But this is a much more realistic kind of example of what we, we would probably be doing in, in code. All right. So we're going to call user. We're going to get back u and error. These variables are declared within the scope of main. And we're going to print user. Then I'm going to call get customer. And we're going to get back that customer and another error. Again, area, error was declared here. Here it is kind of being declared again. This code works. There's not a problem. And what's happening is Go early on in the language design realized that this scenario was going to happen a lot. And what the language team didn't want to do was to have people start doing this, to have unique error variables. This would have been a total, total nightmare. So what the language says is the following. When there is a short variable declaration operator being used, the short variable declaration operator only has to construct one new variable. And it can reuse anything else that's there on the left. So in this case, since C doesn't exist yet, um, there, that's the value that's going to be uh, new. And then it's going to reuse error on the call. But you have to at least create one new value here. Okay, If you can't create at least one new value, um, then we're going to have a problem. So to kind of show that idea, not car, 
You see the error now on line 41? No new variable declaration on the left hand side. Now you can't use this colon anymore. Now you have to go back to a traditional assignment operation because both these variables already exist. But if only one of them um, are going to be new, then this really is nice about Go. And this is why I said to you, if I see anything other than ERR for the error variable, it's going to smell. Because we should be creating that new variable and we should be able to reuse this variable um, all the way through. And it's going to help with other types of bugs.